Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at the Poisson distribution. So in this particular example, we're going to look at power outages. Okay, so suppose that electricity power failures occur according to a Poisson distribution with an average of two outages every 20 weeks. Okay, so in this case, where X is denominated in, X is the number, number of outages, didn't spell that right. Uh, you can uh, specify the number of weeks. X is a Poisson random variable. And here we'll actually sort of state that the Poisson mean is 0 0.1. Uh, sorry, why is it 0 0.1? But essentially just to sort of work on the basis of one particular week. So if you expect two in 20 weeks, you expect on average 0 0.10, one tenth of an outage on average per week okay or one every 10 weeks if you if equivalently okay so in that case Poisson mean m equals 0 0.1 uh, just in this particular example the Poisson mean is the expected value and typically we denote that mu but just for Partly because actually uh, I use in some examples statistical tables and in the that the Poisson mean is denoted M. In other uh, things it's denoted lambda and I'm deliberately not being too consistent about that. Partly because you'd be reading different textbooks where the uh, notation could change. Okay. So not more than one outage per week okay that means we need to compute now the probability of zero outages and one outage okay so in any given week what's the probability that there was either zero outages or just one outage okay so this is the uh cumulative uh, sorry it's not the cumulative distribution it's the probability mass function here now just a sort of quick remark that is e to the minus m times m to the power of k over k factorial and that is the probability of x being some particular value x equal to some particular value k where k is a possible outcome in this case it'd be 0 1 2 3 all the way up to infinity okay so the probability of x is take some value is e to the minus m where m was the possible mean times m to the power of k over k factorial okay that's the probability mass function so what we have to do here is cal calculate that for both x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 okay and both calculations are fairly similar to each other and i've done this in sort of several other videos here so i'm just going to be go through this very quickly uh 0 0.10 to the power of zero or with zero factorial remember that zero factorial is equal to one okay and anything to the power of zero is also equal to one so what we end up with here is e to the minus 1.10 which is 90 percent okay Similarly, the prob probability of x equal to 1, that is e times the e to the power of minus 0 0.10 times 0 0.10 to the power of 1 over 1 factorial. Okay, so that is the exponential, uh, that is the, the previous value just divided by 0 0.1. Okay, and again, you can disregard that exclamation mark there, it just got sort of moved around from there. So it's uh, one tenth of that previous value. So essentially what we have to do here really is just add the two values together. That is the probability of x less than 1, less than or equal to 1, which is the prob probability of x equal to 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1. So it's 99.5% essentially. Is there any more to this question? No. Okay, that's good. Okay, we'll leave that there.